hi everyone welcome to my channel today I thought I'll do a video on my top five best things about being cabin crew and my five worst things about being cabin crew so hopefully this will help anyone who wants to join the company um, help you get an insight as to what we go through um, I'm sure there's a lot of fellow crew out there that might agree with me. If you don't, then we all have different experiences. Um, so if you want to see my five best and five worst things about being a Emirates flight attendant, please keep watching. Before we start, please subscribe to my channel below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you have any questions feel free to leave them in the comments if there's any videos that you'd like to see please let me know so i'm going to start with my number five worst thing about the job so i would have to say number five for me is rude customers um we are going through a lot we are serving over 300 plus people in economy and it depends on the aircraft there are so many customers there's not enough crew to customer ratio I would say so people tend to be very impatient and rude um, you know some people are amazing this is not all customers but there are some customers that are just that are just so rude to crew um, I don't know why they think it's okay to treat people like that in general I know that you know people are going through things but yeah number five rude customers just rude in every way. Um, no pleasers, no thank yous, demanding. I hate it. My number five best thing about the job is the fact that we get a lot of days off. Like compared to other jobs, we only necessarily work 80 to 100 hours a month. So we get plenty of days off, a lot of time to enjoy Dubai. So I love that about the job. Um, although, you know, it can be quite tiring and a lot of those days we do use to rest. Um, I still love the fact that we get quite a lot of days off. My number four worst thing about the job is, I know this might sound a bit spoiled, but we don't get a lot of time on layovers. You know, we get about 24 hours in most destinations sometimes 48 hours if it's a longer destination but honestly it's just not enough time um sometimes you're too tired sometimes you just spend the whole leg over just sleeping in your hotel so you don't even get the chance to see that country because you were too exhausted from the flight um a lot of our long-haul flights you know we have a 24 hour new york that's not enough that's like a 14 hour flight from dubai and i don't think that that's fair necessarily to give the crew only 24 hours we have few flights to new york every day but one of them is so short and the crew are quite tired so not enough time i would say to properly explore a country i know a lot of time people sign up to the job thinking oh we're gonna get to see the world you do but it's just not as enjoyable when you're too tired to sightsee or something like that so that's something I personally don't like um, my number four best thing about the job is the fact that you get to meet new people new crew on every flight you know we're over 24,000 cabin crew roughly in Emirates so you're always meeting new people on every flight you hardly ever work with the same crew that you've worked with before so that's a good and a bad thing but i think mainly a good thing because you get to meet people from all over the globe different experiences you get to meet customers from all over the globe um and yeah i mean usually usually the crew is quite amazing um usually customers are quite nice you know if you ask them where to go in the hometown that we're traveling to they'll give you tips and tricks so you get to network a lot and make a lot of connections. My number three worst thing about the job, I hate to say it, but you know, I have a bad experience with my cabin crew manager. I think a lot of crew suffer from this. Um, some managers are just not helpful. You only hear from them if you have a sick day. If you have one sick day, which you know, crew um, tend to get sick. Like it's a very tiring job on the body. So it's like we get so sick so quickly. We catch germs, things like that. So I just find that some of the managers and mine in particular was just not very supportive of that. They were very contradicting. So they'd say, oh, we don't want you to fly sick, but we don't want you to call in sick. So it's kind of like, what do you want from me? <laughs> um, 
that was so frustrating for me because I would only call sick when I was sick and that would be the only time I'd hear from my manager. They won't call me to see oh, with what my future goals were, what I wanted to do within the company, nothing like that, just why are you sick? So for me, a lot of the cabin crew managers are quite useless, I'm afraid. I hate to say it, but you know, I love the company and I do appreciate my job, but I didn't appreciate my cabin crew manager, unfortunately. Um, my number three best thing about the job is the annual leave. So we get, you know, 20 days annual leave, but the fact that we can add days off before and after it is amazing. You know, the annual leave as well as obviously the fact that we get the cheap tickets to travel. So we're in the middle of the world in Dubai, so we can go anywhere on our annual leave. And I think that we can spread that annual leave out in the year. So we get to go anywhere um, and it's a lot of leave that we get so that's something that I do love about the job. The number two worst thing about the job I think is just the fact that it is hard to maintain relationships. It's hard to have a boyfriend, it's hard to have a husband, it's hard to keep up with your family, you're always on the go. When you're back home you're tired, you just want to sleep so I think that's that's really tough you know it's hard to catch up with friends you have to force yourself out um, for me that was a tough one you know you're missing a lot of things back home because you live in Dubai you don't live in your home country which mine is Sydney and it's so far away so you miss out on a lot of you know birthdays and weddings and things like that so for me that that was a tough one I would say um, just you know, missing milestones in my friends' lives and just finding it hard to catch up with them. My, my number two best thing about the job would have to be the discounts that we get. Um, not only do we get the discounts in Dubai, but we get the discounts traveling worldwide on hotels, on flights, you know, with other airlines as well. So that's an amazing, amazing, amazing benefit you know in Dubai particularly we get you know discounts on most restaurants bars things like that even some um, beauty salons gyms you know the list goes on and on it's almost everywhere in Dubai cabin crew get a little pink face card and we get discounts everywhere even in Sephora so that's a big perk I'm a makeup artist as well so the fact that I get discounts in Sephora and duty free worldwide it's amazing for cosmetics so for me that was a big 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 plus um, my number one worst thing about the job for me I know I've said rude passengers and sick passengers and things like that there's a lot to it but for me was the fatigue I was exhausted I was tired that leads to a lot of health problems if you're not getting enough sleep um, you know in the air you get bloated and your whole digestive system is disrupted when you're tired. If you're tired and you're lacking in sleep, so many health issues occur. You just don't enjoy it the same way as you usually would um, if you were traveling normally um, and if you were well rested. So for me, it was pretty exhausting. The long flights, the long shifts, the long hours, the timing of the flights as well. 3 a.m. flights were a big no-no for me. I hated them. I absolutely couldn't stand 3 a.m. flights. So um, that was probably my number one worst thing about the job. Um, my favorite thing about the job is obviously the travel. We get to see the world. It's the obvious one I know, but that is the best thing about the job. That is why I became cabin crew. So, you know, I only want to do it for three years um, and hopefully I'll get to see it everywhere that I want to see. So whether I travel on my leave or whether it's with the company, it is amazing because we do get to go to destinations we might not have ever traveled to or might not have even heard of. I've been to places that I never heard of. Um, for example, before I joined Emirates, I never knew where Mauritius was. I don't know if that's ignorant of me, but I never heard of Mauritius. I went there and it is my favorite island. I love it. It's beautiful. It's amazing. It's exotic. So yeah, definitely number one is the travel. So I hope this has given you guys a little bit of an insight into the life of a cabin crew, what we love, what we hate, 
what to expect. And I don't want it to sound like I don't appreciate the job. I did love it. I did travel. But of course, with every job, there's goods and bads. And I felt like I should put it out there. I get asked about it a lot. Um, if you like this video, again, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any suggestions, please let me know. Um, and I will post a video on it. So thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.